So we've got a couple more things to show you with the water jug workout, doing a little bit of hip abduction here. So we're just going to put the water jug, you can either lay it on its side or up on top, whatever's most comfortable for you, and hold on to the handle. This handle really comes in handy uh, with the weight to try to keep it in control. And we're just going to lift that top leg. And notice how my core is really strong here. I've got my elbow underneath my shoulder and I'm really lifting the core instead of letting my torso sink. And I'm just doing a series of leg lifts here to really engage and work the abductors. And of course, I'm getting in some core here as well as here at the same time. All right, so we're just gonna do that. And then we're gonna stop and flip over to the other side. Same thing, elbow is gonna be right underneath that shoulder. We don't want it to be extended out, put some stress on the shoulder. And we're just putting that jug a little bit below the hip so that we really create some resistance. If it's up too high, then we're not gonna feel it as much as if we have that weight right around the middle of the hip and in between the knee to really work that abductor, that outer hip area. And of course, our core here. Now, once we finish this, we can just stay right in the same position and we can move on to some more series of core stuff. So first option here, we got the bottom leg bent underneath us coming up halfway. We can raise that arm up and now the core is working. If you wanna make it a little harder, we're gonna come all the way up to a side plank. So we're all the way up on that side plank. We can just simply hold here, or we can add a little bit of movement. So you've got a couple options here with the feet. I've got them stacked. You can also stagger them for a little bit more stability. And then we can add that rotation underneath and right back up, nice and slow, really working that core. We're gonna do four more here. We're gonna do two more, last one, and then we're gonna hold. And then from here, we're gonna go right into a front plank. So bringing the hips parallel to the ground. Now I've got this yoga mat here, but you know, certainly if you don't have a yoga mat at home, you can just grab a blanket or a towel, whatever works for you. So holding that plank. And from here, we've got lots of options. We can lift one leg, set it down, lift the other one. We can do some taps to the side. And of course, we've got the option to drop to the knees into a modified plank. All right, so lots of options. Coming back up to the full plank, we can come up to the hands, back down to the forearms. Just keep that motion going. And I've done four with my right arm leading. So now I'm gonna come back down and do four with the left arm leading. And then hold, and then we break and go right over to the other side. So starting with the first one, we've got that bottom leg underneath, coming up halfway. Adding the progression all the way up to a full side plank. And then an option to thread the needle. All right, you can pick how many reps you want to do. Maybe you do eight one day. Next time you do it, you progress to 12. And then the 16, we hold. And then we're right back into that front plank again with our options here. Lifting one foot, holding, and the other one. Taps to the side. And then we've got our up, coming all the way up, back down, back up. And don't forget to switch sides. So now I'm gonna lead with the opposite hand. And hold. All right, so lots of options there, guys. Try them all out. Play around with the reps. Have fun with it.